In this travel vlog, we want to give you tips for visiting Petra and Wadi Rum. Watch both day one and day two, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Myself and Godfather Chapman Roberts recommend that you purchase the Jordan Pass before visiting, as it gives you access to 40 attractions throughout Jordan, including Petra. Whenever you first enter, you will be greeted by merchants who try to persuade you to ride their horses. The horses cost five Jordanian dinars and take you to the entrance of Petra to the treasury. They don't take no for an answer. Watch. I don't want a horse. Nope. So as you can see, a lot of harassment when you first walk in. It's very annoying. I told her multiple times I do not want a horse. I want my godfather to experience riding the horse down to Petra. But I keep getting harassed. Be aware. Although there are some merchants who take it too far with regards to selling, we later learned about the local Bedouin families whose main source of income come from merchandise profits. And believe it or not, some families still live in the surrounding caves. Petra was a major city established around 312 BC by the Nabataeans. This caravan city was half cut into rock and housed many underground water cisterns and springs. It also became a major textile, incense, spice, and ivory trade route between Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Rome, and beyond. As the trade route grew, so did Petra. So I'm walking up to the place where you can take pictures. It's kind of a famous place. A lot of Instagrammers and TikTokers do it. Um, to the cliffs over there. Now, when I first came in, they told me if you go to the right, they would charge you. So I listened to someone on YouTube and they told me oh, that you could actually go to the left and climb it yourself. Now it's a little bit more steep. It's a little bit more dangerous, but you want a good photo or not. <laughs> On my hike up to the top of the mountain, I was completely lost as there were multiple trail options. It was at this time that God sent me an angel, a French backpacker by the name of Thibaut, who graciously took me to the most popular site to view the treasury. During the expansion of the Roman Empire, Petra too was no exception to invasion. The city was seized and a Colosseum was built. Today, Petra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with more than 800 registered monuments. Here's my last tip. Before you visit, make sure to bring good walking shoes as you will spend at least two hours or more exploring during a one day visit.
Thank you all for watching. And if you plan to visit Petra, do add the Wadi Rum Camp to your itinerary. Day two video will show you what to expect.